Hi everyone, good day. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So again, this is the second part of finding the perimeter and the area of the plane figures. And today we will discuss about the area and perimeter of the square. So without further ado, let's start. A square has four equal sides. Look at the figure. As you can see, it is marked as S. So same markings since all sides are equal, meaning the measurements of the sides are equal. So for the perimeter, so let's use P of the square. Perimeter of the square is equal to S plus S plus S plus S or that is simply 4 times S or 4S. For the area, again, that is equal to area of the square that is equal to the product of two sides so that's side s times s or that is equal to s squared if the given is the length of the diagonal the formula for area of the square is equal to a is equal to one half d squared or diagonal squared so this is the formula for the area of the square if the given is the length of diagonal so let us have the first example having the measurement of the side that's equal to four meters so without writing the other measurements of the size we all know that all sides of the square are 4 meters. Therefore, the perimeter is equal to 4 times S. So, that is equal to 4 times 4 meters. So, that is equal to 16 meters for the perimeter. For the area of the square, that is equal to s squared therefore that is equal to 4 meters squared or 4 times 4 so meaning that is equal to 16 square meters so again let us have example number 2 having the measurement of the side that is equal to 6 centimeters so without writing the other measurements all sides of the square are equal to 6 centimeters therefore the perimeter of the square is equal to 4 times s which is equal to 4 times 6 centimeters therefore that is equal to 4 times 6 24 centimeters for the area of the square we have area is equal to s squared or that is equal to six centimeters squared so six times six that is equal to 36 square centimeters For you to have a mastery of the topic, let us have additional example having the measurement of the side 5 inches. So again, we all know that the other sides of the square are also equal to 5 inches since all sides of the square are equal. So this one is 5 inches, 5 inches, and 5 inches. So again, the uh, formula for the perimeter is equal to P is equal to 4 Since times S. all sides of the square are equal. Without using S plus S plus S plus S, just use 4 times S. Since all sides of the square are equal. Since our side is equal to 5 inches, let's substitute. That is equal to 4 times 5 inches. And that is equal to 20 inches for our area 
area of the square. So again, we have to multiply the side. So s times s, or that is equal to s squared. Meaning, we have to square 5 inches. So 5 inches square, that is equal to 25 square inches. Again, our area is 25 square inches. What if the given is the length of the diagonal of the square? For example, 8 centimeters. So, let's use the formula for the area of the square. Given the diagonal, so A is equal to, or area is equal to, 1 half D squared. The diagonals of the square are equal or congruent. Therefore, we use D squared. So, that is equal to 1 half times 8 centimeters squared. So, that is equal to 1 half times 64 square centimeters. So, 64 times 1, 64 divided by 2, that is equal to 32 square centimeters. So, our area, if the given is the length of the diagonal, which is 8 centimeters, that is equal to 32 square centimeters. So, let us have additional example given the length of the diagonal or diagonals. As we all know, the diagonals of the square are congruent or equal, meaning the other diagonal is equal to 12 meters since the first diagonal is 12 meters. Therefore, the other diagonal is 12 meters also. For the formula of the area, that is equal to 1 half d squared. Or we have d sub 1 times d sub 2 divided by 2. So since the square has the same diagonals, therefore the formula is d squared. So 1 half times 12 meters squared. So 12 times 12, that is equal to 144. So 1 half times 144 square meters. So 144 divided by 2. That is equal to 72 square meters. Therefore, our area for the square given the diagonal or length of the diagonal is equal to 72 square meters.